Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the color of an object in a photograph. In this case, we are going to change the color of the car to a different color. So this is going to be kind of our final product here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You can basically what we need to do first is we need to make a selection. So you can make a selection a few different ways. I showed you in a previous video how to use the pen tool. This video I'm going to show you a different way. So if we go into the fourth icon here, and we hold that down, we want this quick selection tool. So we're going to click on that. This works a lot like a, a smart brush. So the same way a brush, you can make it bigger and smaller by hitting the left and right bracket keys. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint on the area that we want the color change to happen on. So we'll just select in here and you can see it's a smart tool. So as you click around, it's going to select the colors that are similar and then as you can see we kind of the tool selected a little bit too much here so if you hold down the option key and drag over the area that you didn't want to change it'll subtract that from the selection same thing up here go in and edit this just a little bit I think we did a pretty decent job in through here. Click down, click around here, click here. And then we'll worry about this area after we get the selection. So if we can clean that up just a little bit, get off the headlight a little bit. So as you can see, I mean, a decent selection pretty much all of it's all of it's selected and taken care of you can come up here to select and mask and there's some tools in here where you can hit this radius button and you can see how it actually helps the selection out quite a bit how it's pretty jagged and through here and here and just by moving this over a little bit it smoothed that out and cleaned up mask quite a bit. Um, you can also sometimes smart radius helps. So we're going to go ahead and click OK on that and then what we're going to do is come right over here to where it says hue and saturation. We're going to click on that icon and then your selection goes away. But if you can see here it's brought up a new layer and it's applied that layer mask. Now what this box is going to allow us to do is we're going to hit this colorize button right here. So as you can see, instantly it's changed colors. Now this color is very washed out and that's because the default and saturation is usually pushed down. So if you push your saturation up to 50% or even if you want to go a little bit higher, and then what this will allow you to do is this will allow you to change the color. So depending on what color you want the item, object in your photograph to change to, this is where you would change that color. And then another trick is if you bring the saturation up too high initially, you'll see it gets a little fake looking. So what I recommend is leaving it a little bit lower and then build these layers. So you can drag this down to a new layer That'll make a copy of that one. Then what you can do is you can bring the, the lightness or the brightness down or up, and then you can bring the saturation up or down. And then those two layers are building upon each other. So before you do that though, what I recommend is if you go in here, you can see some of the areas where the mask wasn't as good as it should be. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the regular brush tool. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. And if you remember from the previous tutorials, we want to change this to black by hitting X or changing it right here. You can use this icon to flip back and forth between the colors. And we want to paint this in black right around the areas where we don't want that color to show up. 
And then same thing here, you can see we probably missed a little bit, so we'll change that over and then go back to black and get that off of there. We missed a little bit here, so we'll go to white and we'll paint that in. And then down here, make our brush a little bit bigger and go through here and paint that out and then same thing through here. Now, if you were going to be super detailed on this, you probably want to use the pen tool. That's going to give you the nicest line. We're just doing this really quick. So the brush tool will, will suffice. And you just go in and paint that area out. We'll paint this area back in. So we're right to the edge. Down here we missed a little bit. And right here we missed a little bit too. So we'll zoom out really fast. So if you double click on this icon right here, that brings back up your color selector. So you can go in and change the color. Like I said down here, this is the brightness of that layer and then you have the saturation piece so more or less saturated like I said it's better to go a little bit lower and then duplicate so command J and let those colors build upon each other that way you keep the shadows and the highlights without it becoming too kind of muddy if you if you push the if you push the saturation too much in this one, it starts really flattening out and you lose some of the realistic look that you get if you leave it a little bit lower and then you duplicate that layer. And then what you can do is you can group those together and that's how you change the color of an object in your photo. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments below.